This video is a complete guide for choosing between Shopify, WooCommerce and BigCommerce as the platform for your e-commerce business. We'll compare these platforms across five main factors. The first factor is usability, which refers to how easy it is to set up a store, design it and manage it. Number two is security, where we judge how safe you are from hackers and malware and how good the customer support is. Number three is functionality, where we'll discuss core e-commerce features such as payments, refunds, shipping and how good the plugins and integrations are. Number four is customer experience or simply put, how fast can your store load and overall which platform helps convert more customers. And number five is price, where we'll judge each platform's cost and find out which one is suited for your business. So first let's begin with discussing usability. Shopify is the easiest to set up but has few customization options. BigCommerce is the second easiest to set up, has some customizations while WooCommerce takes some extra time to set up but gives you a base on which you can build any kind of store you want. For example, if you wanted to add a music player, you can go to any one of these free sites and find the code snippet, which is lines of code, and then just copy paste it to your site to get the desired effect. So for people who aren't afraid of a small learning curve, WooCommerce has a lot of design and customization opportunity. But for people that are beginners and want something great, I'd say Shopify is the better choice because it may only have four themes, but they're quite beautiful and designed in a way that you can get the best bang for your buck without much effort. One big difference between these two and Shopify is that Shopify doesn't need you to perform regular updates. Updates can sometimes break sites if there's code conflicts between different plugins. So that's one less headache with Shopify. You can get a good backup plugin and you won't have to worry about updates harming your site again. There's a few good ones in the market, but our plugin BlogWord is the only one with unlimited real-time backups. So you can just turn on automatic updates and forget about it. Let's not talk about the next big factor, which is security. There are three main things you need to worry about when it comes to online security. Number one is the SSL certificate. It comes free with Shopify and with big commerce, it comes as an add-on. With WooCommerce, it depends on the web host that you pick. Some like Cloudways give it for free and in others, you'll have to buy and install it yourself. Number two, malware attacks. Here's the top security plugins for Shopify. And for WooCommerce, we recommend using our plugin Malcare because its advanced firewall keeps out 99% malware. And while other plugins take hours to remove malware, you can remove it instantly with a click in Malcare. BigCommerce's security comes free with your subscription. And if your site does get infected, you can reach out to their customer support to get it removed. WooCommerce and Shopify are potentially safer because the security is in your control and you can install a good security plugin. Number three is customer support. All three platforms have 24-7 support, though there are some varying reports about how effective each of them are. I'll throw up some common reviews and ratings on the screen so you can decide for yourself. Next, let's talk about the third big factor, the features and functionalities of each platform. Big commerce or WooCommerce don't have built-in payment gateways. You'll have to use a plugin and that takes a transaction fee. Shopify, on the other hand, has a built-in payment gateway called Shopify Payments. There are no transaction fees, but it does have your typical card payment processing fee, which varies depending on the Shopify plan that you choose. In terms of refunds, Big Commerce and Shopify let you initiate it within the dashboard, but with WooCommerce, you'll have to use the payment plugins dashboard for this. Another important feature is how each platform deals with customers that added items to a cart but didn't check out. BigCommerce has a built-in abandoned cart recovery tool that sends emails to customers about their abandoned carts, which is definitely a helpful feature to have. Shopify takes this one step forward by not only adding an email, but also sending a link so they don't have to enter their details again. WooCommerce doesn't have this feature by default, so you'll have to use MailChimp or SendinBlue, which again has a slight learning curve. Next, all three are same when it comes to international shipping. Lastly, let's discuss how good the plugins and integrations are on each platform. WooCommerce has a big lead here because it has 75,000 plugins and extensions because it's an open source platform. Everything is much more customizable than any other platform. BigCommerce also has some amazing plugins, but they are far fewer and less customizable than WooCommerce. Shopify is at the end of the pack with only about 3,200 apps to choose from. So if you have a dedicated website manager or you can take out some hours every week to manage the platform, WooCommerce is the better option. Factor number four is customer experience. Generally, Big Commerce and Shopify can be much faster than WooCommerce because WooCommerce sites can become really heavy if you add a lot of themes and plugins to it. However, this can be easily fixed if you use a free split plugin such as Airlift, which can make your site three times faster. 
I leave links for all the plugins I'm mentioning in the description below. Let's discuss which platform helps in converting more customers. I'd give WooCommerce the lead here because there's just much more opportunity to fine tune the customer experience, especially as your customer base grows. For instance, if your customers respond well to a particular style of checkout page, you can get that done on WooCommerce, while BigCommerce or Shopify may not have that plugin. So if you are even a little bit tech savvy, the sky's the limit to what you can achieve with WooCommerce. However, if you're a small store and want a quick site, then I'd recommend Shopify because it's cheaper than big commerce and still gets the job done really well. This brings us to our last factor, which is comparing the prices of each platform. Big commerce is the most expensive option here with the most popular plan being $864 if you pay annually. There are some good built-in features here, but if your sales exceed $180,000 per year, you'll automatically be upgraded to the next plan, which is $3,240 per year. That's almost a four times jump in price and only a couple of new features are unlocked here, which can be a turn off for most entrepreneurs. Moving on, the most basic Shopify plan is $168 a year or $14 a month and has a handful of features. There's no automatic upgrading here based on sales, so that's a relief. Lastly, WooCommerce is half the cost of Shopify to set up. A basic hosting from GoDaddy can cost as little as $60 a year and a simple .com domain can cost around $10 a year, which brings our total to $70. Now, if you want better quality hosting, Hosting, such as from Cloudbase or your domain is in high demand, the price can go up. So it's a bit subjective. So in terms of price, WooCommerce wins on the surface level. But the deeper question to ask is which platform's pricing is the best for a growing business. Overall, I think the main pros of WooCommerce is that it's very cheap to set up, the customization potential is endless, and the plugin ecosystem is high in quality and quantity. The main con is that it requires effort. So this is best for a business that can spare the hours needed to actually get the most from the platform or a business that's going to grow very fast and will need extra functionality. The main pros of Shopify are that it's a great option for anyone who wants to hit the ground running. The subscription cost is quite justified for what they offer and the platform is very templatized, which makes it easy to get a decent store up quickly. The only con is that this convenience comes at the cost of personalization and customization. The plugin library is very limited and there's quite less scope to really modify the platform according to your wishes. So I'd say Shopify is best for a one-man operation or for a fledgling business. Lastly, the main pros for big commerce is that it has some good built-in features and a decent plugin library to make a highly functional store. The platform is very intuitive to use and some big brands use it as well. The only con is that it's an expensive platform and even more so if your business is quickly growing. I'll add a bunch of links in the description to help you with setting up a store for each platform so do check that out. I'll see you next week.